for back. As you can see in the bottom right is the wee image brought up. That is what I have been trying to recreate in this here buggy. Unfortunately it's not quite as easy as it looks because of some limitations. Like the wheels would have to go inside of this cockpit and that's not possible to make it actually run and so it all has to be one block up to what it is the picture there. I don't know how visible that is. Let me out. And I'll edit the scene. Now you see there, this is what I'm supposed to be making. So I'll leave that there. It's good. I don't know how big that's going to be on YouTube. <coughs> Sorry. Hopefully it turns out a decent size so you can see it properly. Well, that's what I'm supposed to be creating there. And you see it's not quite caught the shape of it because there's limitations to the blocks, blah blah blah. And especially this big hunk of junk up here. This, this is just a pain in the arse. The, there's no way the gun mounted on top of that is ever going to be the same shape as this one here. But it does do a decent size. Uh, this is decent replication otherwise. And it does have the same type of gun that can rotate, swivel all the way around just the way the gun and that does. And there's another limitation, these wheels are supposed to be attached to this as well. Which is how they're supposed to be at the same height as this cockpit. Because they're attached to this. But that's not going to happen with space engineers. Space engineers want these big suspension wheels that have suspension off to the side. We have had it would be nice if it was like a suspension wheel where the suspension, the suspension isn't like that but it's straight up and down on both sides and there's a block at the top that lets you connect it so it's you know, like a bicycle wheel the suspension comes down the way rather than to the side like that but that would have worked perfectly here in this instance but it's not the case so whatever I'll just work with what I've got and make the best copy I can and uh, yeah, these bits here are actually connected uh, to the vehicle at the same point here and they are loose, they're actually on a swivel joint so it can go over terrain without actually, so the pod in the middle can move freely and the wheels can just swivel around the terrain. I don't know if you can see it in the picture, but these bits here where I've greyed out are actually supposed to be the suspension itself for the wheels. So as it goes off the train, the suspension here goes in and out. And the vehicle in the picture. To let the vehicle go to rough terrain. But, again, limitations. I cannot just put a piston on here <laughs> at an angle and hope it will work. Yeah. Since never worked in space engineers, so that was just like a death machine for the dam. Up here, there is a seat on the vehicle in the picture, up here for your character to sit in and use the gun. And I have actually set that up so it can work. And then we need to go here. Remote control, this is all cost of fucking yeah, stuff he's doing. Turn off the connector. Turn off the rotors and yay! Oops. There's a lot of limitation there. It keeps hitting off the, the connector. So I've tried to swivel around, but it can swivel this way to get the level. And for some reason, it wants to shoot. All the guns at once, including the one in the front. The one under the cockpit is supposed to be on the game version, it's supposed to be limited to the driver in the cockpit. And this weapon up here is supposed to be a right, a right click weapon, an alternate fire weapon. Unless you've got somebody in the gunner seat, in which case you can Again, Space Engineers level But 
Hey, right, park it. Um, I wish there was reverse controls for up and down while you're in the seat. Yes, you. Lock up. Turn on the rotors so it's actually locked position, but even if I turn that off, I cannot move it now because the rotors are taking up the slack. Lock your place, lock them in. And there's also a number three, a camera view. This is not for the person in the gunner seat. <laughs> the camera is not for the person in the gunner seat. I got these blinking lights on it as well. I was trying to balance it and I was trying to get the weight correct. So I just stuck these lights in the front of it just to try and weigh, balance it out. And then I eventually gave up and stuck the space ball on and it worked. Because this end was heavier than this, so I just put the space ball on. And you can adjust the weight of the space ball. So you can balance things easy if you just put a space ball on it. I should have thought of that first, to be honest. But hey. Hey ho, things happen. So you can see we've got six guns, a camera in the middle, and two blinking lights. And since the lights are now effectively useless with the space ball on, I just put on the blinking red. You just blink a red light now. Just surely it's an intimidation factor. <laughs> right, down here, there's a big issue with oh crap, I'm going to change that back to what it's supposed to be doing. Um, camera, view, right. So, this lets you view the camera, and this lets you take control. Oh, I didn't need a camera button because it's on the actual, it wasn't the uh, toolbar, toolbar. So it was only a control button I had down here. Control it here, switch on the camera. Right. Yeah, so that's how that works. So you use the remote control, then you can switch off the camera view. And then you come into the camera straight back in the cockpit. Well, don't seem rare, right? So the problem is uh, the handbrake controls the connectors too. The handbrake and the connectors are all both one button. If I turn the handbrake off, I turn off the connectors that lock the gun in place. Thank you, Keen. <laughs> I really want a new button, a separate buttons for connectors and handbrakes. They probably did not make, when they made the key buttons, they probably thought nobody's ever going to have the two of them at the same time be important. They never probably thought of it in any way whatsoever. Ah, uh, well. No, you're yeah, their fault that I thought of this idea, so... Right. Uh, okay, so... Hey, then, uh... Ah! As soon as you get the camera in a certain position... Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to get the camera in position because as soon as you get in a certain position it just locks back into the first person view for some reason. I don't know if it's a bug or not, but anyway. Number one is your little gun down here. This is so you can defend yourself if you're on your own in the car. Mainly. You can turn it on and off. So even if the guy up there starts using his gun, you can still turn it off. <laughs> so number two, remote control like I said. Four. I don't even know what that does. I was just show horizon altitude. I didn't even know what the hell that was done, so I just clicked on it to see what it did. It didn't do anything apparently. So ignore that one. Three. That's your handbrake. That's the get around for the issue. Three. Handbrake. Simple. So since you can try. Whoa. Right. It tilts a little when you steer. That's because it's top heavy. <laughs> There's a lot of weight up top. Way! And the fact that it's rough terrain does not help that very much. I still got to optimise this. Yeah. 
Like I said, they're still going to optimize it perfect. Ah, I see the issue is. Ugh. These suspensions in the back wheels. I am seriously pro fit. I've had this shape up to a maximum. If I turn it down, it just sags. If I turn it up to max, it makes it jerk all the places you drive. It is an unfortunate issue. The only other thing I can think to do is give them a bit more height than the front wheels. So now it's clearing the part there that they're supposed to be. And it should be fine, hopefully. Yeah, it's not tilting as much now. I think it was just bouncing off those things when it's turning. Whoa, 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 whoa! Nope. We top heavy still. That is one of the design flaws of this thing. I'm going to have to adjust the speed of it. Yeah. This is a really heavy thing on top of it. That makes it top heavy, it makes it easy to tilt. So the center of gravity is actually way up. We. The center of gravity is way off anyway. I don't know how to look at the center of gravity. So, what we'll do for us now, for the, just the meantime, we'll turn the propulsion down to about 36. That gives us a slow ass speed of 7, me 7 meters per second, which is about uh, 15 miles an hour. Fifteen mile an hour, folks. <coughs> it's supposed to be a fast buggy. It would be fast if it wasn't for that big heavy gun on top, tilting it all over the place. And see this thing in front of us has a good centre of gravity. This is a Renault Magnum. Yay! I ain't touched the magnum and it just falls, this one falls over. That's how bad its centre of gravity is. I've really got to work on a way to get the centre of gravity this machine all balanced out. I suppose I could hide like a dozen, well nine, artificial masses down here. Maybe even more actually. I could just hide the artificial masses down here. Just remove these blocks with artificial masses and try and get the weight back down to the centre. Or back down to the bottom. Eh. But for now, it's an okay buggy. As long as you don't try to make sharp turns. Eh, <laughs> <laughs> eh. I went right way up. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. Awesome work there. It just collapses on itself. Yeah, so I've got to adjust the weight in this thing somehow. Reduce some of the weight, maybe take some of the guns off. <laughs> but I don't want to lose the guns. Uh, yeah, so I've got to think of something to sort this out, but as you can see, it's basically functional just now. As long as you don't make sharp turns. I can always reduce the steering on the wheels. That would stop it from tilting as much because you wouldn't be turning as tightly then. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I I bet I know as well, this whole idea of pistons like this <coughs> to control with a gyroscope to let you control the gun is worth watching with his base. I've seen the idea of him and I just nicked it. <laughs> just better note that I nicked the idea, it's not my idea of how these gun turrets work. Although I did stick the C up here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, that's me rambled on for 14 minutes about this thing. I can ramble on about 2 minutes for See you next time.